Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I will do basic. Oh my goodness, it's early. I am in. Definitely not my kitchen, am I? I'm in Lanzarote on a 10 day working slash training slash holiday. I'm just going to just go to a day. A day of training, a day of what we're up to. I've got a run today. The run's going to be through a volcano. I thought it'd be quite nice for you. Um, this is post high rocks as well, which is amazing. And I'm just going to make a coffee. I'm gonna have two vitamin C's and a ginger shot. So these actually, they're from Lidl. So you can get them back in the UK as well. And honestly, 99p, 99p. And honestly, a really good ginger shot. I've actually got a newfound love for a drip coffee. I'll show you where we're staying a little bit so you can see. And then I need to sit and do basically what me and Ben have been doing every single morning. We've been getting up and we've been doing quite a lot of work just to get everything out of the way as much as we can in the morning. Then we've gone to train. We come back and then we chill for a bit and read and then do a little bit more work. We usually have meetings in the afternoon, but Lanzarote is the same time zone as the UK, which is amazing. So all our meetings are like in sync. Um, so this is where we're staying. Gorgeous, this is the pool, little barbecue area, seating, house, we've got a hot tub, more seating, really nice scenery. Those people actually ask, um, they, they ask on Instagram, if you're on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. Whereabouts to stay in Lanzarote, like we come a lot, I really, really like it here. I just think, I just think it's a really nice place to be in because I think it's the closest place to Africa, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it's always really, really warm. Like it's February, the start of February, 6th of Feb, and it gets up to like 23, 24 degrees. And it's just, even right now, it's warm. Um, and it's volcanic, and it, which is really nice. So today, my dad's actually planned me a run route. So Meg and Ben have got 8K, and I have a 16K. So we've managed to do an 8K loop through a volcano. So I'll just do that twice, which is really exciting. I'm excited to show you that. I'm excited to take you on that journey. Um, I need to have this vitamin C and ginger shot because I don't know why I've, I've woke up and I sound really bunged up, but I'm gonna sit and do a little bit of work and then, yeah, and then I'll probably get ready for my run. Mum made me a croissant. Hello, everybody. Hello. I usually don't always eat for a run. I've said this a lot on videos, but because my training and volume. I have two challenges coming up, guys. I've got two crazy challenges coming up and I've not announced them yet. I will be announcing one soon on Instagram. And then the second one, I actually don't know when I can tell you guys. And it's probably one of the biggest opportunities that I've ever had, which is crazy to me. And it's one of those things that I just said yes. I was like, yeah, I'll do it, like, absolutely. So that is very, very exciting. And that is something that I have coming up very soon. But basically, yeah, I need to be eating a lot of food at the moment so my calories are probably gonna be pushing on like 3,500 to 4,000 a day and that starts as of now. I'm just gonna to chat to you guys about BetterHelp which is in paid partnership and I hope you enjoy. I did a video a couple of weeks ago where I really opened up to you guys about having therapy and a lot of you had messaged me kind of I guess like thanking me about speaking out about it in general. I've always spoke about it on Instagram and YouTube and it's something that I've actually been really open about because of how much it's helped me and I don't want there to ever be a stigma around therapy, which is why I think I'm always so open. As you guys know, and I have spoken about it, I put a lot of pressure on myself and I get quite anxious in certain situations. I worry about things that I don't necessarily need to worry about. And this is the main reason that I have always had therapy. And I've been with BetterHelp for seven months now. And the best thing for me, I guess, is more like a blessing. I don't need to go anywhere face to face. I don't know about you guys, but actually a few of you said this. When you have to travel somewhere face to face, the whole journey and the process of traveling and parking and finding it and doing it and going to it all made me really stressed and really anxious. Whereas even when I'm here, I've had a few therapy sessions whilst I've been away because it's all via video or it can be via phone call or it can just be via message. So I've done one video and I also just text and message my therapist on the BetterHelp app. I obviously can't say who my therapist is, but you get put with a therapist who is suited to you and your needs. You fill in quite a big questionnaire about everything that you're kind of feeling, which is very specific to you, isn't it? So mine's obviously down the route of, well, it was at the time, like seven months ago, anxiety, um, kind of like being a perfectionist and being really hard on myself, self-sabotage, worrying a lot, stressing about the small things in life. So when I was connected with a therapist through BetterHelp, 
it was someone who was tailored to that for me, if that makes sense. I am someone who travels quite a lot with work and who's, who's just like here, there and everywhere, especially over the next three, three or four months. I, I'm away quite a lot with work and the thought of that even gives me quite severe anxiety, it stresses me out to be working in different countries and time zones and sorting things out. But there's over four million people who actually use better help worldwide and for someone like me i obviously look after my physical health my physical health isn't going to be what it needs to be without looking after my mental health i know a lot of people say that but it's actually really true you've got to be very proactive with our brains and our mental health if you think you might benefit from therapy i actually really would recommend better help to you and this is from personal experience but something that i have used over the past seven months and i think the fact that i'm still on it seven months later from when i first started kind of shows how how good it is and how beneficial it is you can click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com com slash lucy davis if you do click the link it does support my channel and it gives you 10 percent off your first month which obviously will allow you to connect with a better health therapist and then just see if it helps you like see how you go with it i'm always really open for questions from you guys and how you feel about certain things and if you want to drop me an instagram dm or drop a comment saying hey can i email you whatever it is please do and then maybe we can chat about it because I just know the benefits that I've received from a very busy working girly who puts a lot of pressure on herself. So fingers crossed, hopefully it'll help you as well. But I'm now going to go and basically finish my croissant that I have been nibbling at through this uh, through this part of this video. And then we are going to drive somewhere today across to Famara to do a run through a volcano. Gorgeous. Coletta de Fumara Montana Cavera has been added to your pinned routes and is available in your Garmin Connect account. Annoyingly, all three of us forgot our really good salts to bring out with us. Um, so we bought these from a random little supplement shop. It literally just says salts on, which is, yeah, great. So I've got two of those in here and I'm gonna have that pre-run. I've actually just done a video about how important it is. I'm actually not gonna have a lot of water because I just wanna get those in me how important it is to replace your electrolytes. So when you sweat and when you run, for example, the biggest ones you lose are sodium and chloride, and you do want to replace them because if you get dehydrated and you're losing electrolytes and you're not balancing them out again, it could just make you feel weak, your performance drops, muscle cramps, fatigue, cognitive function is not as good. So this is why it is so important to have salts, and this is why we have gone out our way to get these crazy little things. I'd usually have um, my protein ones or LMNT, so so fingers crossed, these don't taste that funky, but we are gonna go and drive about 20 minutes now across to Famara, run around. I have connected it to my Garmin. One of the best things about Garmin, because you guys always ask, this is the Phoenix 6S Pro Sapphire. So if I now go on run and hold down and then go to navigation, the course is here that my dad has planned and it says do course. And then basically when we get there, I can just follow this map. Can we see here? I'll just follow this map where we are. Um, it's an 8K loop, so Meg and Ben are doing 8K and then I'll just do the next 8K by myself, which is wonderful. Yeah, Mum. Am I? Yeah, what are you doing today in this cycling outfit? We're going for a little ride. Do you know where you're going? Um, maybe we go towards Famara as well, I'm not sure. We'll see you we'll there. We'll probably do about 40, 45k, which is fine. 20k out is good, but yeah, coming good. back is against the windy. wind. Windy. That's the one thing about Lands. Well, these, these guys know on YouTube about how windy it was because the marathon I did here. Oh, yes. And you could hear, yeah. you could hear the wind, but... It's a battle. It's yeah. a battle. It is one of my favourite places, you know, Lansworth. I just love coming. We're having like a wellness retreat, aren't we? We're all a very active family. We're making ourselves well. Yeah, we are. We're making ourselves well. Um, so mum is off on her bike ride. We're off for a run. I'm just waiting for Megan and Ben. Don't know what they're doing. And I'm waiting for Clive. <laughs> mum's waiting for Dad. There she is. We are ready for our run. We are. Ben is not. There she is. Look at her go in the little, the little hair. Off on our adventure. The run's going to be beautiful today. It's very, very hot. So we all have water, salts, and electrolytes. Okay, so this is the map. As you can see, we are walking towards the star, which is just that little bit there. And um, so just over this next road, we parked basically as close as we could. And then, so yeah, in 60 meters, we will be starting our run. We're in Samara, which is the, um, like the beachy surfers kind of paradise. And it's really nice. We're actually gonna come on Friday and do a whole day of surfing, which will be super, super fun. <laughs> do a few leg swings. 
me and Meg did a real hard session yesterday actually it was a lower body session and then we did a 15 minute amrap for high rocks it was really hard again lower body focused um so i definitely feel a little bit sore today but hopefully once you start moving it's not that bad so meg and ben have got eight we're going to do a loop and end up back here and then i'm going to go back out again and do that same <laughs> do that same loop so two lots of eight for me Whoa. oh my god so the garmin it's just completely taken us off whatever that kind of weird road was. Now it's going to be a hot sandy trail run, which is going to be very hard. Do 16k. There's actually no breeze at all today, is there? What? Much harder to run on this, isn't it? Yeah. Whoop, sand. Running in sand is something else. You can't put your feet anywhere. The Garmin's really taken us for a, a journey today. The only thing is though, it is extortionately hot actually today, isn't it there? Yeah. It's uh, no breeze. So when I loop back with Meg and Ben, I'm gonna have to get a drink because I'm going up clearly into that volcano. This is the route that my dad, my dad did. So, yeah, why not? Sand, trails, and into a volcano. Oh, yeah. Hard that, wasn't it? That's the volcano that I'm about to run in, but we just needed to pause because we're in up a volcano hills really, really high. Volcano. Oh, it's very cool. It's very hard, isn't it, actually, on the legs. Run and also very good practice for me. Something I've got coming up. How many K are we in Ben? 4.5. Because I've been running forever. Running on sand is a different game. And then running up into a volcano is also a different game. But I think this route Dad's done. <laughs> He's obviously tried to make it the most scenic thing, hasn't he? Up into a volcano and then we're literally gonna be right on the beach. So I think we're gonna have to run on the sand. Which potentially, oh, that was a lovely scenic run. One of the nicest runs I've ever done. Uh, about 1.5k left for these two. And I'm not gonna do that loop again because I don't really wanna do that on my own to be fair. It's a little bit dodgy. So we'll do that, I'll do the next bit on the road. Okay, I've left the others. I'm 10k in. I've got 16 to do because my volume is much higher than theirs. It is so hot, but I am going to try and run on road now because my legs are dead after that 8k volcanic sandy trail. The wind! Oh my god! Oh, this is hard. I'm not even able to hear me because it's so freaking windy. 12.55k done. A little bit to go. Oh my god. I thought it was hard coming up the hill and I obviously had wind pushing me up and now I'm straight into a headwind. Ooh, it's good practice, it's good practice. I've nearly got 1k left. It's been, it's been pretty hard actually this whole run because that first eight was whatever you want to call it. That was, and the second bit, it's just been hard. I'm going to dive in for a drink ASAP. Then I'm just seeing everybody, they're waiting for me with beverages. In the cafe, 16k, one hour 23, five minute 12. Okay, hey, just got back, made a lovely lunch. I've got like a triple, double, quadruple layer ham, cheese, and alioli baguette, veggie crisps, normal crisps, rocket, delicious. We have been on meetings after meetings after meetings. I got my teeth things in, that's why I sound a little bit weird. Natural hair is in full swing. You guys say I just keep like this all the time, and I just I just don't. We've got another meeting now, so we just had one uh, with the My Coach team back home, and then we have one with marketing. Good afternoon. Oh, hello. So we just went for a little walk. Got that then. Um, and we're going for dinner. The outfit, we've got sandals, we've got white pants, backless top. 
Uh, that is the outfit. The hair is just, I can't even talk about Beautiful. the hair right now. And then Ben yeah, is so sporting a blue oh shirt gosh. with Gymshark. Use code Benji, then use code Lucy. Use code Lucy. Code Lucy for money off Gymshark. And then his Birkenstocks. I'm not going to take the camera, I'm going to take my phone. So I will see you at the restaurant. I forgot I was vlogging. Um, we ate all the tapas. Yeah. Got our main dishes coming. I have a local red wine. Ben had a um, German Coke. German Coke. It's one of the first places we've been to that doesn't do Coca Cola. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've ordered a truffle burger. It's a very big thing, isn't Yeah, it is. Delicious. Uh, Lanzarote cheese, uh, burger, mushrooms, chips. Oh my goodness. It's delicious. Today's been a wonderful day. We just had a gorgeous, gorgeous dinner. Mum and Dad, cute. Look at the cute Actually, we really we love Lanzarote, don't we? We, do. we really love Lanzarote and I hope you enjoyed today's video which was running through a volcano which is something that I never thought we'd do eating some glorious food and yeah it was all around wonderful vibes to Love Island. and we are going to go back and watch Love Island watching the fall of a movie night it's going off like a bottle of we, <laughs> we really it's guilty pleasure actually isn't it is that it what is. you call it a guilty, guilty pleasure, pleasure. Um, I don't well, know if you can pleasure. see you us right like now it. yeah I just like it it's Ben's guilty pleasure we'll love you and leave you and I'll see you in my next video which I think the next video might be an announcement of one of my challenges but I'm not 100% sure because I've not announced anything yet Bye.